Good morning, um, or evening, I guess you might be watching this at night or the weekend, and I just started off with a really awkward um, introduction there for you. Um, this is our first attempt at a lecture video, so just expect it to be really strange, because it's really strange for me to be sitting all alone in my lab talking to a computer. Um, but we're going to try to make this uh, short and sweet, because I know with a lot of the classes we've already done a lab safety presentation. And so this is what you need to know, though, for the online quiz, um, so you guys can kind of try out the first unit um, as we switch some of this content online. So we're talking about lab safety. We're talking about keeping all of our fingers and toes, most of our hair, unless that's a natural loss. Uh, and so let's get to work. This is a bunch of words, basically, telling you all about what you should learn from the Texas Education Agency. OK, purpose of lab safety. Um, honestly, to keep you alive. Uh, we're going to be doing stuff in our actual lab here. Uh, we're going to be doing some stuff out, um, outside, what we would call field investigations. Uh, and so it's important for us to stay safe because your safety also uh, depends on how safe everyone else in the class is being, including myself as the teacher. Um, also, not just lab safety as a whole, but also you need to know what have, what to do in case of an emergency, in case of something breaks, in case of something that's on fire. You need to know what to do, where to go. And so those things are important. So general safety rules. You guys should know at this point that my number one rule in the lab is, I think I've used different, uh, different ways to say it, don't act a fool, don't mess around, don't be dumb. Okay, that's pretty much the main rule. Okay, o apart from also listening to directions, reading your procedures. Uh, and so follow directions. Um, know where the safety equipment is in the lab. Uh, our eye wash station and our safety shower are very visible uh, in the back of the room. We also also have an eye wash in the front of the room. Um, we have our fire extinguisher over by one of the side doors with the fire blankets to keep you warm in case there is a fire. That's a joke, by the way, in case you're confused by that. Um, okay. Um, fume hood, we do have one fume hood in the room, uh, and so if we are using anything that's going to be putting off uh, any major fumes, we will use it. We also have ventilation in the room. Um, keep your areas, lab areas clean. If there's any type of spill or accident, you have got to let me know immediately. That's pretty much the, the easy rule. You can remember that for the quiz. If all else fails, ask the teacher first. Don't just think, I got this. Um, don't do anything unless I've told you to do it, unless I'm there. Food, drinks, don't bring them into the lab, uh, and don't eat things in the lab. I think most of the class has heard the story I told you about the mercury. Don't be the kid that eats the mercury. Okay. Also, don't be the kid that licks your finger and sticks it into like a beaker full of sugar and eats it either. Okay. I've, I've met these people. You don't want to be these people. Uh, protective clothing, goggles. Got to wear goggles. Okay. I, I'm, I, I, I will show a little bit of grace maybe on the first lab because we forget we put them here, we put them here. Wear the goggles. I know that they're horrible, they're gross, they're sweaty. I will sanitize them after every class, but you got to wear the goggles. Um, if you got have glasses, um, you can get some uh, kind of specialty cover goggles. Uh, I'll try to keep a couple of pairs around that will fit over glasses, uh, and so those don't. Uh, you can't trade out glasses for goggles. Um, protective clothing. Um, gloves, we'll wear those when necessary. Uh, they don't really uh, protect you from everything, though. Uh, but in most of our labs, if we're dealing with a, with something hazardous or we're dealing with uh, fire, we are going to be decked out with gloves, goggles, aprons, hint, hint, for the quiz. Um, attire, got to level up. Everybody looks good in an apron. When you have apron on and goggles and gloves, you just look like an alien, and so it's awesome. Um, ladies and gentlemen with the long, uh, you know, hairdos there, you got to make sure that those things are pulled back. Um, I'll try to keep hair ties, um, and so don't fight me on it, please. Um, Closed-toed shoes, uh, and also when we are in the lab and we're dealing with uh, with chemicals or um, or burns and burners, yeah, like jewelry, loose clothing, we got to secure it. We got to take off the jewelry. That includes even ID badges uh, if we're using stuff that could be knocked over. Chemical rules. Don't eat it. Don't taste it. Don't smell it unless I tell you. Okay. Uh, and now, remember, proper methodology. I don't know 
know if I've got anything here. I've got this bottle that's not even open. Wafting. Hold it up to your nose. Sniff. And this. Not, not, not the whole two-handed thing that's awkward and not what the kid did before the, the thing. Don't do that. Okay? Um, when you are done with a chemical, do not put it back in the original container. Um, ask me what to do with it. Ask me where to dispose of things. Uh, one thing that we haven't talked about yet uh, are MSDS sheets, material safety data sheets. Um, in class, we'll go over those in a little bit more detail, but basically those tell you how to handle a chemical. They tell you how to dispose of it. They tell you like um, everything, what it reacts with. Uh, is it corrosive? Is it safe to handle? And so um, there'll be some more information on that in just a second. Chemical rules, acid to water. When you're mixing acid and water, always acid goes into water. Think A and W root beer, acid to water. Okay. You stir it, so if you add, because the other way it could splash and hurt you. Um, don't steal my stuff. Don't take chemicals out. Um, let's see. Yet again, notify me if there's anything going on. Glassware. Remember, glass does not glow red, like it's on, like on a cartoon. Okay, so you can't tell if glass is hot. You got to use use protective equipment like uh, beaker tongs. It's just safe to do that. Okay, if it's chipped, let me know. We don't ever need to be heating up chipped glass. Um, don't hover over an open flame. Okay, if you're heating up something, don't be pointing it at anybody's face, uh, and and always be mindful of uh, of a burner. Never leave one on. Okay, if you're not there. Here's some information on the MSDS and things that uh, it covers, and so you can kind of read over that. It tells you everything that you pretty much need to know. And that is pretty much it. Good luck on your quiz.